I'm recording. I was gonna say anything out of pocket. Out of pocket. <laughs> no, you wildin', bro. That's her thing on. Damn. Say one of them days, huh? Just one of them days. Um. I don't have like songs about men going through them days. They do. What song is that? Go ahead and say something crazy. I, I watched something that was real crazy, so I thought that's a good crazy. Mom's gonna on me? Yeah, so I was gonna think of something crazy like, oh, this just ain't shit, bro. <laughs> see, nah, see. That's my like good See, nah, though. I can't fuck with it, bro. I can't fuck you with it. You got to. That's so funny. That's so to. ignorant. I was trying to think of the most ignorant, so that's the most ignorant song I can think of. Joe Michael? I hit the button. Joe? We need to find that button. You only gotta press it one time. You ain't got rub on it. But I'll be so reckless. I'll be so reckless. Hey, what's now? Yo. Yeah. After the night. Don't leave your girl around. Reach, you play it for. I need you to get the beat right. I need you to get the beat right. I was getting it right. No. No, you can't tell me shit about being on beat. No. You won't be on beat for shit. No. I said, me, how, 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 no. how did no. that no. song go? No, no. It go, go better when I do it. That's how it goes. Ah. It go better when I do it. That's no. how it goes. Come on now. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Put my headphones up. That's all from you. Wow. He I don't say I'll be on beat. You don't, Wait, okay, bro. Okay, okay, let's call the let's call the homies right now. Let's call the homies right call now. Ah, ah, ah. Let's call the homies right now. Like, hey, who we all beat the most? I'll fight niggas. Tell me I was off beat. You'll be off beat all the time. You freestyling. That's different. No. It's not as hard. It's not hard to be off beat all the time. Whatever, dog. You be really making up your own truth, huh? You do, dog. How? I don't know how. You just be doing that shit. And I'll be like, all right. If I made it up, how's it the truth? You make up your own truth. And then you then you do spin artist shit and you try to make me believe the shit that you just made and up. And if you choose to believe it, then it becomes what? You a Jedi nigga, dog. What becomes what become, what become, what become? Huh? It become our truth. No, it doesn't. It become our truth. You like, it's our truth. Oh shit. I, that is the George I was He do be speaking facts. He do be speaking facts. Purple is pink. Like, no, nigga, that's not how that. What, well, Samuel Jackson a Jedi nigga? This, as I, I feel like that's disrespectful somehow. <laughs> Jedi nigga, you think disrespectful? <laughs> Could you imagine if Yoda was like, Jedi nigga? <laughs> You'd be like, yo, I'm about to beat this green nigga ass for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Jedi nigga. This nigga like an overgrown weed plant. Fuck out of here, bro. You don't want me no Jedi nigga. That's it's just crazy, crazy cause like he was like a, a Jedi Lord. Like he was not a Lord, but he was like a Jedi Master and shit, like a knight. Yeah. <laughs> just mean nonsense to like a Jedi. Just coming up. Went from slaves to masters. Look. Don't trust me, bro. You so, make the correlation, I make it back, and now I'm, so I'm stupid. Is Star Wars like after like America's downfall or some shit, or or is it humans in different planets? Niggas praying for my downfall. <laughs> Niggas praying for my downfall. If you find out someone was praying your downfall, what would you do? Let them pray. <laughs> Word. Yeah. I don't know. I do that. I mean, like, so praying on your downfall, you just got to go, okay, like, and I'm gonna keep doing me. You wanna keep praying? Well, if you fall down. We fall down. You don't get up. You ain't got legs. We, oh. It's not. I'm just gonna crawl to my destination, and I'm about that. I'm just gonna crawl to my destination, sir. It might take me a while to get there, but I'm gonna crawl to it. Man, that's so hard. My nipples are sweating. No, Episode 149 no, of Cleaning no, Dishes. That's just no, over. No. 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 Give it a moment of silence because you just died. All right, you're right. Episode 149 of Cleaning Dishes. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's good. I hope you're good, Fred. I hope that I'm good. With my sweet noodles. And, uh... You see how quiet it's staying on this side? It's, it's, it's only us, though. But you see how quiet it is? Not really. I can see how quiet it is. Honestly, I can, I can see the frequencies. All by myself. I'm always by myself. Always so dolo. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> We're alone, die alone. You already know yes at the tone. Well, let's go! Bart If you don't know who it is, it's Mr. Fantastic Bounce Back like the last don't melt because it's not plastic. Here with the Bar God, <laughs> aka. See us, Asri Noah Jr. aka. Topo Tommy. aka. Lucky Lefty Thomas. 
AKA March July. AKA Tatted up Tommy. Tatted up Tommy with the no tats. <laughs> that part is always said in silence, bro. <laughs> Talk to him, Tommy. How you doing, Tommy? Uh, yo, you know I'm good. You already know what it is, man. Out here, tired. Should I eat that pizza? <laughs> <laughs> For real, you tired? Ate that pizza. I was like, mm. <laughs> I heard that though. Yeah, nah. No, I'm, I'm good though. I'm doing well. Doing well. Blessed, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's always dope. I said, be in there by the Lord. I miss that. I miss that church song. You miss church? I mean, you can go to church and then hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, mmm. Do I miss church? Sometimes. For real? Sometimes, sometimes I do, yeah. Like, yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. My church was small, so that's like what I remember most of my church, like having a small community. We had a mid sized church, so it wasn't small. It was a lot of people there. You said mid sized sedan? Miss size uh, community. I thought, I thought it was a community. You said Miss size today. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said church. I just fuck with you. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said nigga said Miss size today. I'm like, bro. No, so it, my church was cool. It was a lot, of, plenty of people, plenty of options, people there. Um, <laughs> the church. <laughs> Sweet that we're out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's my services. You ain't got first service, or second service. That's what I meant when I said options. I got you. Yeah, first service, or second service. I got you. I knew what you were talking about. But hopefully, they give it out a third. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so I asked myself, how you doing, St. Thomas? I'm doing good. You know, I had some pieces to say, too. So you got to say that's great. You got to say that's great. Because you said you was good. You said that's great. That's great. That's okay, great. Good, good, good. Uh, cleaned up today. I did ad workout today. Ad. Cleaned up the house today. House. Um, what else I do today? I was reading about it. Um, kitchen. Did the kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen's part of the house. Kitchen part of the house. House, house. But I am tired. I'm like. Tired, tired. I don't know. I had to be able to put some Starbucks with some extra in it. What's the. Me. Is that anyone hands that actually? Uh. You get. Go ahead and say, yo, you coming in for money. Your fingers are just get coming in money. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I hope black so. ass up, nigga. It's because you gotta get paid next week. Shut up. <laughs> Nigga, it's Friday. You about to get paid. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus. I, I it <laughs> What'd you say, dog? Was this me? Yeah, it was me. Could you oh. say this with Starbucks? What that? Oh, mean? well, I'm like that. Oh, I love that shit cracking it. <laughs> oh. oh, you just want to jump straight to crack this? Yeah. I mean, caffeine just crack without the extra stuff. I, I don't know. Well, you did it. Yeah, I did. It might be the same. It might be the same. We all did it to caffeine. How so? When we, get my, when we get my Dr. Umar on? Please get your Dr. Umar on. Doctor, AKA Dr. Usri. So what does crack start with a letter? C. What does caffeine start with? It's like a quiz, right? <laughs> I got you, bro. Okay. That's with a C. Okay. Now, what they don't tell you in school is caffeine, the, the prefix is chaff. So caffeine, right? So calf is a Latin. Where chaff come from, man? Chaff, I. When you ask me fuck up, you gotta keep going to the. So, where's Chaz come from? You was like, You're not listening, you just talking. See, it's a problem. You're not listening with your fourth ear and seeing with your third eye. Let's see. That's the problem. Even though I used to make it tripped up, we ain't wearing the right shoes. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm mad at you, man. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, so ignorant, it's hot as a bitch in here, but I don't want to turn the AC on. Well, then be hot, nigga, I will tell you. We got to this way. So, a movie that we watched this week. Uh, so, we're going to start with the first one. We watched uh, No Escape Room. So, this is definitely, uh, yeah, you know, we like watching Escape Room movies. <laughs> <laughs> that look at the camera was crazy. So. <laughs> what you mean? That so, side eye. It honestly is a good I genre. I see a side eye in my sleep. Would the shiny consider an escape room? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, were they not like stuck, stuck in that bitch? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Let me turn my thing over real quick. Oh, oh, oh. he said, "Is the shining an escape room?" <laughs> That's a legit question at this point. I don't know. All right, so No Escape Room, directed by Alice uh, Merkin. I'm gonna say Merkin. Uh, directed by Alice Merkin and uh, written directed by. Directed by Alex Merkin. Uh, I'm gonna say the first thing you said last. Uh, written by Jesse. Mittelstad. Middlestad. All right, that works with that. 
Yeah. If, I, if I said it, I said a syllable wrong, you was gonna torch me. So. Cause you would have been like, there's a Z in here, there's a Q. Oh yeah, I'm not being goofy no more. I'm keeping it straight serious. Oh, why are you not being goofy no more? You no, know, I'm tired of being judged by you, by like, everything I be saying and shit. Sometimes what you say that I judge? Everything. Well, well tell me, tell me what every, everything is a broad statement. So give us. It's a, not what comes to get, you. Go ahead, break it down. Go ahead, I'm break like, that yo. something down. Go ahead, break down everything so I can know, so I can correct my behavior. I like no, my kneecap. I think my kneecap missing is meniscus. You know what a meniscus is? Just a dumbass side. I'm like, yo, what you got? I know what my meniscus is because it's missing my knee. It feels weird. Like, you know, dog. That's what you said, meniscus? Yes, meniscus is a word. I'm not saying it's not. Why are you trying to type it down then? Because I'm about to get you the fuck up out of here. How? I'm going to ask you to spell it. Huh? I'm going to ask you to spell it. What movie we watched? Uh... <laughs> so you go back to that. This day he bought... He... <laughs> <laughs> no escape room. A dad has a daughter for the weekend and wants to uh, take a road, road trip. On a trip to nowhere, the dad's truck overheats and... For, and they were going to nowhere. What they were going to go see somebody, weren't they? Who are they going to see? <laughs> I love to spoil the movie. Uh, on a trip to nowhere, the dad's truck overheats and are forced to take a rest stop. Trying to make the best of the situation, they find a local escape room that has an eerie backstory. Okay. And to help y'all out, it doesn't involve slavery. Because those would be the worst ones. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to be on vacation and up working? Yo. <laughs> That's what happened. Yo. <laughs> Bro, if they was if they was trying to go on vacation, they was trying to go on a vacation and they end up working, bro. That's 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 be salty. Quick, quick, quick. What? You said a lie. I could definitely pick up, but I'm not gonna say that. But uh, what was that? Quick set side note. What was that short? It's not for. It was a movie that had three shorts in it, and one of them was like it was like Tales from the Hood or Boys in the Hood. No, it wasn't Boys in the Hood. It was like it was a bunch scary movies where this dude had bought a painting of like this black woman, and she made these dolls and shit. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. I don't know why it just popped in my head because it's something you said, but yeah. Okay. But yeah, um, this movie's pretty good. This is like a, another escape room that it's we watched. It was a sci fi joint, wasn't it? Wasn't it a sci fi film? It was a sci fi film, you're right. That's what made me surprised at how, how, how decent it was. I was like, because <laughs> sometimes I see that be good, sometimes I see that be like, WCF is this. So I used to watch sci fi films with my uncle. That was like, I was like his shit. The same when I put you on the music? Yes. Yeah, yes. this nigga put you on everything. You owe him a big shout out, bro. He yeah. put you on everything. You be like, I like Ninja because of him. I watch Sci Fi because of him. Alright, real quick. Another one. <laughs> I don't want to chat down. I don't want to say this. What family member or person, how'd you feel when you found out that the person that you was calling that person by a name and you found out that, that wasn't his first name? <laughs> so, for example, my uncle Dale name is Uncle Dale, but his first name isn't isn't Dale, and he never told me his first name. I know it starts with like an L. That's all I know. Oh wow. Okay. So all of a sudden I was like, cause for whatever, I forgot what it was, but for whatever reason something came up, and he was like, you know that's not my first name, right? I'm like, that's not your first name. What's your first name then? And he just walked away. My uncle Bill. Really? Well, Uncle Bill, because I didn't know his name was William for a while. <laughs> I thought his name was Bill something. I didn't right, know. Right, he's like, yo, you've been living a lot all this time. Uh, Uncle Bill, yeah. And like, that's, the first name's William. I was like, oh, oh. And that's when my dad explained, like, Bill's usually short for William. Why is that? You he's got like, Niggas can't spell. Somebody had a stutter. Somebody probably has a piece of speech impediment. Couldn't say W's, they say like B's. You got Dickhead for Richard. Like, I don't get that. Dickhead for Richard. Okay. No, so who'd you think, uh, who'd you think of okay. no escape room? How'd you feel about uh, okay. it? Okay, he said you got dickhead for Richard. That's crazy. <laughs> is, is that, that's not how it goes? That's not how it goes. Okay. Oh, that's All not how it goes. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> you out here calling Uncle Dickhead this whole time? Uncle Dickhead! Like, my name is Richard. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, oh. nobody told me. Now you're going to start talking about But mommy always says you're dickhead. Damn, snitched your mom out. I mean, we are brother and sister, so that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> They probably told my. I, I guess my niece and nephew. No, they know my name is Alfred. I'm sure they know my name is Alfred. Yeah. It's from people at work discovered it. Like, I guess I'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm the one. <laughs> Ooh, yo! Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's crazy, right? <laughs> That's true shit. <laughs> I'll be the one that'd be like, wait, Fred, Fred, Fred ain't your first name? Like, it's short uh. for Alfred. They'd be like, it's like it's your name was Frederick or. You told me your name was Alfredo because you was Italian. Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
No, but yeah, no, I think it probably be me because I, yeah, I've definitely had people be surprised when they find out, like when they see, like like a like an envelope for me or something with my name, they be like, "Who's Alfred?" And I be like, "That's me." They be like, "Your name's Alfred?" I'm like, "Why don't you go by? <laughs> why don't you go by Al?" My dad's Uncle Al. My for real? Dad, uncle, my dad's Uncle Al, Uncle Bussy. I want I want huh? some hot Bussy. Like that's just, I, I swear to God, that's. That's what it was. Okay. What you got to say about that? Why you laughing, bro? I'm not laughing. Detroit jokes coming in five. Oh, Detroit <laughs> jokes. <laughs> now, yeah, Uncle Bussy, and then um. No escape room. <laughs> so what you think of this movie, bro? I have to tell the joke now since you about to die in the water. <laughs> so the reason why we bug it out is because he said his like uncle Bussy, right? And so is it okay if I said Yeah, go ahead. And so for those that know slang terms or just like uh yeah, you say slang terms. Uh Bussy. It is Bussy, right? Bussy. 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 Oh, that's one one letter. Yeah, up. but it's like uh, oh, that's how yeah. I know what I knew what you were saying when you said that. I was like, you stupid. Like I'm sure Bussy gets a lot of shit for that too. Bussy Collins? Bo that's Bootsy. Oh. But Boosa, no Boosie. I don't think he does. I'm sure he does. He has a gun. I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> Little bu bu oh, oh, shit. No, but, uh, bu 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 said Boosie. Uh, Bussy is, uh, basically man's butt, so. If you want to take, if you want, you want to look it up, what I'm talking about, go ahead. I, I ain't spell Bussy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did not look that far into it. No. This one works if you don't know how to spell it, you just don't know how to spell it, sir. Oh, I, I, am I allowed that same? Uh... <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. You don't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most ignorant thing ever. Hey, if, I, if I know you, that's something on you. That's something on you, bro. <laughs> no escape room. How'd you like this movie? Actually, I'm surprised. I was watching it, expecting it to be like, you know, like kind of cheesy, like, you know, a sci fi film. Mm -hmm. Not really, I must say sci fi, I'm the station sci fi, not like a science fiction. <laughs> Thank you. That's what it Thank you. Yeah, so I, um, so I expected it to be like a little, a little cheesy, but something cool, has some cool features in it, some cool things about it, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it actually, like, it, it helped, like, the, the, the concept, I guess I'll go with it, was actually kind of cool. It was a little confusing, um, because I don't, I don't think it ever was thoroughly explained. I mean, as far as what was happening and why, it didn't really explain too much to me. I feel like it did in the beginning, but it was one of the things where like, no one's paying attention to that. I mean, when we first saw Saw, the first one, like my man said, lost a key in the beginning of the movie. And it was like, if you want to get out, just go in like the, the part of the key. And the key's like in the, in the uh, drain, so go ahead and take care of that. But we was like, no, nah, it's an X in the middle of the floor. And, yeah. Was that... Was that an intentional miscalculate? Like, was that an intentional miscalculation, or was it just miscalculation for that game? Uh, no escape room or a first saw that he would you move his foot and make the thing go down in the uh, drain. Was that was that? He did, he did it on purpose. That's why when he got up, he knew exactly where it was. Like when he went, oh boy, I got up. Spoiler alert for those that haven't seen Saw. Like when he like if you haven't saw Saw, ha ha ha. Like when he got up, he was like the keys over there in the drain, and oh boy was like. The fuck? And he tried to bust, he tried to uh, shoot old boy, and he just hit the taser on him again. Oh, facts. Yeah. I don't want to tell him no more. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's. Uh, yeah, so that's yeah. why I go back for it. I just go back for it. It's just. No escape room, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, no escape room. I had no room to escape that idea. I heard that. I had no idea. <laughs> I got you. No, I, I, I do agree. Like, it being a sci fi movie kind of was like, for me, I was like, oh, it's gonna be ass. So definitely, like, it's see my expectations. Yeah, for sure. I had low standards. I had low standards if I was a good movie. Sometimes it's always the best. Either have low standards or no standards at all. Or expectations, I should say. You should have standards. <laughs> <laughs> Either have no expectations or, like, little expectations at all. And you get, like, a lot out of it. But, uh, Pardon I, me. You good. I thought it was dope. Uh, it was all right. Like, uh... He thought it was dope. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love myself. <laughs> So I, I want to talk about how different it was from the other escape room. Like this one What's was uh, like a spoiler alert, but this one was more in a sense of like uh, I thought the people were already did when they walked in the room because the story, the basically the scenario was that these five people walk in this room and like they can't they don't get out they just die. So I was yeah. like yeah like they, they walked in that room and Destiny just had them 
Yeah. Versus the other escape room was like, oh yeah, like it's y'all really have to escape this room. Yeah, I. So I was I was along the lines that something had happened to them. That maybe they were out of their body. They were in some sort of sleep state, whatever it was, because of something that happens in the beginning. That's why I thought mm. I, I thought I thought that they were in some type of state of uh some non physical state. Like the ayahuasca they had. <laughs> what you want me to tell you? Acid, shrooms. The, it, it, the way it was bubbling. <laughs> I traveled colder, huh? It, I, I, it was little colders they was drinking. I was like, bro, like I wouldn't drink anything that looked like that, bro. Nah. Not mm-hmm. even on Halloween. Like I was like, I never would drink nothing out of that. I was like, I'm good on this. I don't think Fuchs would drink that shit. No, it's a DS3. What's in this? I mean, oh, sign me up. Sign, pull me up. He says DS4. Fuck a three. You saw how you fuck you skip a number? Hey. Hey. It's twice as good as, it's twice as good as the last one. Okay, I'll give you that. That'd be kind of hard. That's what's called DS4, twice as good as the last one. I'm like, you know what? I fuck with it. Oh, there you go. You're spit. That's my tagline, <laughs> too. This might be a classy. Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna be a classy. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Like, he's been from the, from the before I even was playing this bit. <laughs> he was spitting on the cover? That's crazy. <laughs> like, wow. No, but, um. Uh, you think you think this one was better? You think no escape room was better than escape room? That makes sense. I feel like it was because it. I don't. I actually don't remember the other one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you don't remember it, that means it was terrible, right? <laughs> it was just the most recent one I watched. None of them like super great movies, but I think this one was one because it was more fresh. I can remember it more thoroughly. <laughs> um, but two because it was more. Actually, you know, not not the last one. The last one was really about them escaping too. But there was a whole other element. So, so this is escape room. But they actually were escaped, but there was a whole other element to it. Versus the other one, it was just tricky them trying to okay, escape. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but this one had a whole other element. So on top of them trying to escape with their lives, there's a whole other element to it that that normally isn't there. I, I, that's what I think made this more interesting. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. There's a reason why there was science fiction involved with this one. I mean, yeah. Well, so I was like, I liked it for that reason. So I, I thought that was kind of cool, how they put that element in there. To it kind of was explained to us, but it kind of wasn't. So that was kind of cool, but it was like, okay. On the no escape room? Yeah. Okay. But um, I think that's why I liked it, because of that. Like, oh, okay. So just so you, I was wondering how they were going to tie it all in. So to see them tied in like that, I, was like, I guess they did. I, guess I don't so. think they did, but. I mean, as to why that person was there. Like, why, why this other thing that was happening was that. Oh, the Spectre? Yeah, like, why that was all going on. Why was that happening? Who? So I, I like so uh, I like Spectre because of Twisted Metal. It was a uh, driver on Twisted Metal. I was like, oh, what's that? It was a Spectre. And I looked it up, and I was like, oh. I'm picking him. So I pay him or but I realized that like for me, what kinda of sucked me into the movie was that whole like uh not a time loop. But never that, played uh, Justin Battle. I should have about that. What? I never played those games. That's one of the one of the games I saw about. I never really played those games, bro. I played it I played the I think I played the demo of one of them one time. That was it. Never actually owned, never actually played those games. Oh, we gotta change that. Like for I I would definitely buy but that. Twisted metal? Yes. Was it good? Anyway. It, it, it was good. It was good. We, we, yeah. Next, but uh, <laughs> uh, so I realized that like uh, I like that's the idea of specters, which is like basically like a, a haunting entity, and uh, the time loop that girl went through, where she was trying to get out that room, but every time she went through like a corridor, she kept looping. Yeah, I, I'm a sucker for shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, why. you like you like time. You like time stuff a lot. But, but that was not a time one. It's just like her. She was just oh, uh, we saw like, uh, or Burroughs. That's like technically or Burroughs in a sense. But okay. like she kept going. Uh, in the infinite loop of why she couldn't get that room and she busts her head to the white meat. Yeah. I always wonder why didn't she ever go backwards? Just see what will happen. Some people just like this pointless. Especially when you didn't say a panic, it's like, why would I go backwards? Well, if you going forward ain't working, so yeah. what are you going right. to do? Right, so I was like, this point, I'm going to try to go back. Because at one point, it was so, it was, she was such, the loop she was stuck in was so small on top of that. Yeah. That if she was to, I'm going to get this part away. Cause yeah, go ahead. When she opened the door, if she opened the door and was and looked, she could actually see the back of her head. <laughs> yes. That's how small this loop was. This this this. Cause she was just walking through the door. Like, yeah, just walking through two doorways. So it was small for her to be able to open the door. She couldn't reach herself because she was that far away. Oh, no, make a joke about that too. But go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, what if like it was so close that she could smack herself in the back of the head? It's like, pay attention. Oh, like, who, who did that? It was like you. You saw yourself do it. She's like, nah. That'd be a crazy yo. Like it's up the back of the head. Are you kept tapping yourself on the shoulder for help, not knowing that you would turn around and look and see who it was and go chasing that person? That would fuck me up. Because you would see yourself running, you would chase that person, and it would happen over and over and over and that over again. 
Come and help me! And he's like, oh, they look for help too. I should follow I'm them. I'm gonna follow them and see what they got. And you just kept going. And it would happen over and over and over. The blind leading the blind. Ooh. Man. Parables, dog. Ooh. I bet they didn't see that coming. Anyway, um. That was a good one. Hit that at them. I'm gonna, stop, I'm gonna stop interrupting you, though. Go ahead, my bad. I'll be interrupting you, so it's okay. <laughs> no, but over, overall, uh. I was other than that part. It, it, it overall was was a decent movie. Like I said, I, I went in with low expectations, and it exceeded that, so I'm satisfied. Okay. So yeah. So overall, I, I probably get like a seven. I'm gonna get to this whack ass ending though. Uh, yeah. All right. So super spoiler alert. So how the movie ends is these uh the mom and uh the mom the daughter and uh father they find a way out through how the hell they get out. Oh, they end up. They play. They're playing the game. They they finish the game up. They finish the game. They get the key. They get out the. They get the key. They put it in the door. They get out the door. And they get to the. They, they go to the bathroom in the diner. Right. And when they come to the bathroom, it's on some whole other shit. Cause in the beginning of the, yeah. So they end up in this diner, and you and it starts to play off at like it yeah, is. It's, it's like going. It's like if you get that deal, like oh, this is like a whole loop thing. But what did, okay, what didn't make sense to me kind of was that means. Based upon that theory, they, there was two versions of them living in this world. Mm-hmm. That's possible. Like that's the only thing I can think of because because there was them that was that just left the diner or whatever, and then it was them coming into the because they had to hide from themselves mm-hmm. so that they wouldn't get seen. And then there was them, which is I think I think that's stupid. Like why would you hide from yourself? Just tell yourself, hey yo, you gonna say you do a, a escape room? Don't do that shit. And that's because you don't know what's gonna happen. I, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I, ideally. If they don't do it, then you would cease to exist. That you and you as in time would cease to exist. If but, you interact with one another. Yeah. If you tell you if you if you tell health don't do a certain thing that led you to that spot, ideally you would cease to exist. Or you just have different uh, time possibilities, and you can still exist in your own timeline. And, but at that point, they're not in. They're not in their own timeline. They're they're sharing a timeline. They're both in the same place. They're both in the same timeline. Yeah. But like they're not. They're not in different timeline. They're in the same exact timeline. Like if you was in different timelines, I wouldn't really. It depends if it's like if you if it's like a destiny thing of like I'm destined to like be here and talk to you out of doing what you're doing. So you're saying that when they came to that door, they might not necessarily be in the same time they were in originally when they were first. Mm-hmm. So like, is it is it, it was it supposed to go that I'm supposed to meet you? We we're supposed to meet you. You're not supposed to meet myself and tell myself don't do this, or do I have the option to like don't do this and then from there it's whatever. And this is why I like time timelines, because <laughs> there's I, so many different variables, and ideas, and like rules and shit. I I I, I don't know. I there, there's no right answer. There's no the idea. The idea you're giving makes sense to me. I think it was an error. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. that don't sound like that don't sound like that. They what you're saying makes sense. How they just played it does not. Yeah, but on top of that, what part of that kind of got me. I ain't gonna say he did. I just was like WTF. Was like, so they finally get out of the escape room and they get back to the diner. And then they let, somebody left a note on the car like, hey, like, it was just like a gas uh, nozzle that was messed up. Uh, free of charge, don't worry about it, uh, enjoy your trip. They're like, all right, cool. And mind you, they kind of panic because they just had like a lifetime experience. They get in the car and it has like locks and key holes and shit in it. I'm like, so they're essentially still playing the game. Yeah, I'm like, are y'all still in the house? Do y'all even exist anymore? Like y'all in limbo? Oh, right. So that's kind of where I was like, what? So essentially, so so we had to believe that they were just stuck, like this whole world was a game. Yeah. So essentially, they entered this world. This whole world was a game, and so that could be, like you said, that could be the ultimate. Like one world, they like, entered this game and they're stuck in this game, mm-hmm. and the and that's that's them, and I don't know, and maybe in the other world, like you said, maybe they can, maybe they can see that timeline. And this, like, see it, view it, Maybe, yeah. and they just, just like, I don't know. I don't, that part was weird. Show me. Cool. Also, didn't make sense to me was like the people had left or whatever, and they got. And as soon as they left, they left out, and their car was there. So why did the first set of people see the car? You mean first set of people? The, remember, there's two sets of them now. There's the set that's in the bathroom, and the set that's in the stall, and the mm-hmm. set that's in the actual diner. Because the so, girl was in there putting on her makeup, little bit of putting chain on, and she left out. Right. So ideally, I guess they would they would leave before the car got fixed. But they left right away. Like, they, as soon as those people, as soon as she left the bathroom, she, they, they darted out the bathroom too, remember? They left out, as soon as they left out, they left out the bathroom. So they were like right behind her, essentially. Yeah, so remember when she's like, uh, putting on her necklace, that was like, hey, like, you got her, yeah, we about to go, whatever. Right, and, and she's she still like, freaking out because she's heard the noises and stuff. Right, and, then and she, she put it on and she leaves. 
So technically they have like a good, I'm gonna say five, 10 second head start. Okay, so you're thinking that, oh, and they could have left out another way yeah. so they wouldn't have seen the car or something like that. Or we can go with the other, other ideas you're saying, like, so low if they both left out at the same time. So if you want to go with that idea, uh, the one that, <laughs> the B version of the mom and uh, daughter, they're in their okay. own okay. like universe in a sense that like they don't exist anymore. And that's 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 when you said that. I was like, okay, I guess that other than that's the only thing I can think of is that like right. like a separate universe. So they can see they can see mm -hmm. they can see the others. You can see the but your things are just two different time yeah, past are totally different. Yeah. I guess that's that's kind of so yeah, ideally in the sense that they would be dead. The B versions of them would be dead. The beta version. Yeah. Look at the office, but we not gonna do that. Yeah. So I use Mocha Six. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah, I no, definitely no, definitely no rewatch value. That's... I wouldn't suggest y'all to watch it. It's just cool. Now that if y'all paid me to tell y'all to watch it, you know what I mean? It was, it was cool. It was cool for what it was. Like, a little late night uh, joint. Like, you just goes on real quick. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, cool. watched it. It was funny. All right, it was cool. Like, oh, it was all right. And making yeah. fun of the characters. Cause we, when we watch movies, we don't just watch them. Like, we're, we're talking. Especially for a Sunday, we definitely talking we're our talking, shit. Talking, talking. We're, like, roasting characters and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and roasting plot and all kinds of stuff. So it's... It's it's always kind of fun to do that because we have a friend with us usually you know, something like that we watch these movies we like going in. As soon as you see escape room, we be like, oh, you know we watch it. Yeah, like, well, why we watch that shit again? Is it escape room or something about time? We got it. What's going on? Oh yeah, in. definitely gotta watch it. We need to watch which one called before. Uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you yesterday. That was on Netflix. It was a black TV show. It was a black movie. I don't remember that one. Yeah, and I, I, I remember it. What we 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 bookmark? We can talk about it again. Hmm? We we had we was gonna talk about this and then we was gonna talk about something else. Uh, Dunkirk? No. We, I said I said later and we like didn't talk about it later because now it's later technically. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So uh, we watched Dunkirk and the reason why we watched it is because like, I heard like a lot of good things about it. And I was like, we go ahead and throw this thing on, see this trash. Then I realized it was uh, directed and written by Christopher Nolan. And I was like, oh word, the man that made Tenet. <laughs> Sign me up. So during World War II, <laughs> during World War II, British forces were fighting with the French army to battle against the Nazis. Unfortunately, through a series of events, the Nazis ended up getting the upper hand and pushed the British and French forces back. With their back against the water, British forces decided to evacuate their troops and bring them home. This evacuation is much easier said than done. This is the story of the Battle of Dunkirk. This is that. Thank you. Oh, wait, you took the movie. This the the the, the thingy. Both. Both were good. Alright, yeah. Thank you. Both were good. Um, Chris Manola don't, don't miss. Yeah, I like you know what I like about this movie is with cinematography is a lot of times like that big word or cinema what? Cinnamon sticks. But why do that I get the third degree? That's actually really good. I was really good one though. I ain't front. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good one. He said cinnamon sticks. <laughs> Uh, I like laugh, but whatever. <laughs> because like a lot of times like when like, a lot of times you see war movies they like show that like at some point you see your enemy mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. at, and at some mm -hmm. one point you see your enemy and at some mm -hmm. point like maybe the enemy's trying to sneak or get a shot off and they'll show the scope of the, the like you'll see through this enemy's scope what he's seeing and stuff like that right and unless you don't get that you're right like so when shots just start happening you and the character are both like, oh shit, let's get the fuck out of here. We're both yeah. running. Like we're like, and, like in in my head, I'm ducking down and I'm hobbling. I don't know what I do. I don't run really <laughs> But I'm doing that thing I do. And I'm we're both trying to get out of it. Like we're right. both like, oh shit. And like you like like even in like one part, I'm gonna give it away. Um, when they're in the boat. Okay. And, and someone starts shooting into the boat. You never see who's actually shooting into the boat. You don't. You never saw who it was. We just have to assume, like, because they're like, oh, shit, someone's shooting in the boat. Because they're all sitting in the boat. And when they were sitting, someone started shooting at. Mm -hmm. So they dropped down. They're all freaking out like someone's shooting at the boat. But they were just popping shot, random shots. Boom. Boom. Yeah. And so you're like, I'm not sure what's going on, who this is. And then one of the dudes is like, oh, I think it's just target practice or whatever. They're not sure. But they're all too afraid to look. Oh, fuck yeah. And, it, and the thing is, like, the way, the way it just played out, the way that happened to me was so dope because... You were, because it wasn't a super important thing that that was happening, mm -hmm. but the fact that it was happening really added to the effect of the movie. Because you're yeah. just like, oh shit, like who is, who's shooting? Who who is this? What is going on? Is this the enemy? Is it not? Yep. What's happening? And so I want to give a shout out to Hoyt Van Hoytema. I don't know who the hell this is. <laughs> who was that though? Hoyt Van Hoytema, I think, was the cinematographer for uh, for that movie. Nice. Okay. 
So, shout out to him, big ups. So I'm guessing that's all his thing. I was like, okay, that was him. That was crazy. Like, yeah, like it's funny because it's like beyond the Civil War, war kind of became more and more distant. If you think about it, like the Avengers, yes. <laughs> that's the Civil War you smoke? No. Uh, I'll give you that as a good shot, though. That's a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, he did that. <laughs> no, uh... Um, that's crazy. That's going to be the only Civil War some kids know about. I'm dead the fuck serious. That's going to be the only Civil War some kids ever really hear about. It's not, though. It is. It's really not. They want to hear about it's civil rights. Okay. And they want to hear about Avengers. Just like when they hear about Black Panthers, they're not gonna think black people. They're gonna think of Wakanda. All right, I'll give you that. I'll so give when they you think that. of so like Civil War, they talking about. But a uh, Civil War, I can't give you that one. And they're gonna be like, nope, what Civil War? They're gonna be like, oh well, some people have disagreement. They're gonna downplay it. They ain't gonna be like, oh, niggas was wild. Like yo, they're not gonna be like, yo, they gonna be like, mm, so what happened was we they didn't were We didn't disagree uh, on some things, and so we fought it out. Just like how sometimes you disagree with your brother, and you be like, no, bitch, that's not what happened. That's but, not that's what like happened. Bullshit. My point exactly! <laughs> who teaches the white Who teaches the classes? It ain't me! Think about a civil war. Pfft, no! No! I don't know to go from there. <laughs> oh, bro. You said they tried to do slavery and it was like, we. Yeah, as we get more what? and more to the future, like, slavery is gonna get, it's gonna get watered down. It's gonna get watered down. Like, well, we, some people were captured and they were bought here. They didn't want to be here, but we made it work. Yeah, I'm and gonna that's, what, that's gonna be the version we get. Is that's gonna be the version you get? Like what? And I'm gonna keep it a butt with you. Like fuck that. That's the real shit. Don't no, fuck that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like beyond that, nigga, that sounds better. Uh, so beyond that, it's like the shit that they did to us while we was here. Like they were like, yo, we need people to experiment on us. We learn more about the body. Where them niggers at? That's what they said, bro. I'm trying to tell you what they said. If it felt, if it sounds harsh and bad, then guess what? <laughs> guess how I feel just thinking that shit. <laughs> That really was true. That's how, I mean, that's how a lot of statistics get made. They they test on human bodies. And it was like, they don't feel pain anyway. And start fucking us up more. But, oh, he's yelling. I guess that hurts. No, they put, they put it over your mouth. And he's like, oh, he's not yelling. It's like, I can't move my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear any screaming. His mouth his mouth's loop shut and taped. You you, you sold it earlier. I'm like, oh, shit. I, before, before we get back to this, I learned more about the dark... The dark part of uh slavery and like doctors taking like women's ovaries and shit like that. That shit was crazy. After like just in this time period of like the last like two years because of everything that's been happening. And that's what I'm saying, crazy. like that yeah. and they, they can't, kept he's getting watered down, watered down, watered down, watered down. Like before you know it, some kids would be like, I didn't really have that class, like I didn't know that part. Like, or they'll hear about civil war, but it'll be as brief as it'll be more it'll be more so about the north and the south. And the fact that they were fighting, they were disagreeing about certain politics. That's what it's going to be about. Things arguing about assets. And it's disagreeing about politics. So they're going to say disagreeing about political things, blah, blah, blah. And then Abraham Lincoln say, that's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say. And you might get a Harriet Tubman in there. You might get something else in there. But they will sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Serve a whole bunch of sugar and bite. And that's what happened. That's, that's what it was. I thought if you don't know slavery, then how you, how you going to explain? How you going to explain like, how black people got to America? They not going to. Dunkirk. I'm telling you, bro. I'm You're not sorry. wrong. I don't know what to say. This I'm telling you, bro. They're not going to acknowledge it. They don't want to acknowledge it now. They, they, their version of acknowledging now is like, oh, like it, it happened in the past. They be like, but the facts are in the future. What the fuck are you talking about? The facts are in the future. I give like, you that. There is this, this shit still going on now. Okay. To this day. To this day. <clears throat> to this day. I don't know how this gets me. I like that. This is a really good line. You felt that shit when you said it. Dunkirk, though. <laughs> Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Uh, I didn't know anything about this. Uh, this is my first time hearing about it. Probably because it's more on the British side of history. And so, mm. uh, I have to double check this, but I think uh, Christopher Nolan is a British head. He's like, he has British nationality. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Go ahead, bro. Right. I'll fight you guys on it. <laughs> I was thinking that too. But no, Sponge. like, uh, he, has British, he has British bloodline. So, like, uh, that may be something I was talking to him at a young age, and he was like, "Oh, that's probably make a fire ass movie." Because I don't say how it was directed, how like uh, you felt for some of the characters. Because now I think about it, it had like a battlefield, a battlefield feel, like the game. Because like one storyline, of battlefield, whichever one you got, like eighteen. Like, one of them follows like one dude that's like uh in the airplane, 
And it's how like uh Ben Kirk was. He fought one dude. He's on oh, plane. He's flying around. I'm I'm picking up what you put down there. I get you. I get you. I get you. He followed different storylines of people's people's lives. I get you. Yeah, that is pretty dope. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Cause I think you only follow two. You follow uh, the one young guy, and you follow the uh, I'm gonna say Aerosmith, the Aviator. Uh, Tom 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 Hardy. Hardy. Yeah. yeah. Fair 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 Fair. His name was Fair. Yeah. Who's the hit? Spoiler alert. He became a POW at the end. I thought that was really uh. I want to say that's admirable because like he did what he had to do. His whole story was admirable of how like he did what he had to do. Oh yeah. And then my man's right on the gas, and I was like, oh, he's screwed. He's yeah. like, nah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he really out here just doing a damn thing. Yeah, I, I that, that that was a it was definitely a good movie. I'm not super into war movies, but some of them are pretty good. And that's one of the ones I was like, I was, to me that was pretty good. I was like, damn, like this is the way this the way they captured like the idea of just being ambushed and. Yeah. You're not having no idea what the fuck is like. You're just as lost as yep. they are when they're getting shot at and they have to run away and things like that. You're just because you didn't anticipate this. You didn't nope. see that coming. Like they're like the movie fucking starts with just chilling, like oh, walking through the woods one day. And no, so that's what I thought was kind of dumb for like the character standpoint. So they're walking right, and they're they're on enemy lines. They're kind of walking, trying to get a feel of the area they're in. And then you see papers falling out, like propaganda papers, and you read it, and it says we have you surrounded. I'm looking at that and I'm like, all right, you surrounded, nigga. Like, bet you better have, you better be on the walls. You can't, you can't be walking in the open. Like, you don't know, like, you don't know where the enemy is exactly. Right. So I mean, they, so they were, they were kind of walking, like. Nah, bro. A little bit. Your head was on the swivel. I think they were, but here's the thing. I will give you this. They, they were walking as if we know the enemy's nearby, but we, they thought nearby was a couple of clicks out. Nah, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying, like they're like, they're like far from us. And come to find out, it was like, no, we in the neighborhood, nigga. We about to pull up. And it was like, surprise! Like, I was like Yo. That's spooky to me. Knowing that someone's watching you with intent to kill you, yep. and they're like, I'm going to get a few more steps in. That's crazy to me, because that means you, they see you, you don't see them. Yep. And the fact that we didn't see them either made it even better. Because otherwise, we would have so much, oh, y'all better run, y'all better run. You'd have had that, that anticipation wasn't even there. So it just, mm. you see what I'm saying? So if yeah. I'm anticipating, I'm like, go, 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 go. What you want to do? What you want to do? Run, run! You know, but if you sit there, you like, yeah, it's a nice day. I'm like, oh, shit. We in our seats ducking down like, oh, shit. That's really how it is. It really be on the tip of like, yo, like, you be out here. And, and, I, and I think that was why they did it that way, because there is no anticipation of like, I mean, there's like, you, you know you're in war. And I think in the modern day sense, you, you would know to be like, click, 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 click. You'd be on your P's and Q's. Y'all be in squat. And they were walking spread out and like, or not even spread out. They were kind of clumped together. Mm -hmm. Just walking down the street like, like we own the place. I mean, the streets are empty because there's war going on. Like. I'm trying. I would be trying to travel through the buildings, probably, and trying to keep cover. Yeah. Something trying to keep cover, clearing these rooms out, like something trying to trying to take alleyways, some, some trying to keep clear, trying to see maybe I can find some niggas, kill them off, whatever it is. Like mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back to someone. They're just walking, and the next thing you start getting fired on, bro. Yep. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. We all was like, oh shit. It was thinking like the movie started off with like it was like six of them together, and yeah. like only person it was like one person that survived that ordeal, and I was like, damn. Barely. Yeah. Barely survived. Like, got by by the skin of his teeth. He was like, he's like, man, fuck this shit. Dropped his gun, dipped off. Yep. I was like, you know what, bro? I can't even blame you. I wish you didn't drop your gun, but I can't even blame you. Kind of, I'd be playing Call of Duty and be like, yo, <laughs> get me the fuck out of here. Yeah, because, because, I mean, he had his gun. He tried to get away. He, um, he did try to blame it. I think it jammed on him. Because, remember, he got over fence. He's like, nah, nah. Yeah, so he, like, because those are uh, M1 Grands. I'm just, like, hard, hard as hell to use. And like it just went, it wasn't working for him. Plus, like they already had to jump on him, so he was like, yep. "Yeah, I'm faster dip than I have these bullets in my hands." So. Yep, it was already it was already fire. They were literally firing through the door. He was standing. He's like, "Oh yep. shit, I go." So he's ran. I was like, okay. I was thoroughly surprised, and I, I didn't even think about that. The whole like you never saw the enemy. You never saw the enemy. Like you never really saw the enemy at all, which I thought was so dope. That's why I liked it. Like you, you yeah. never saw the enemy. You just knew that we were getting shot at. We were getting shot at from about this direction. That's it. <laughs> that's honestly what's important. Who busting at me? Were they? Yeah, who busting at me? More than anything else, who was busting at me? Yep. That's someone I gotta worry about the most. And it was great. Like, yeah, it was crazy. It was, and then the, and the things that happened, the, the, the way the things just kept happening, kept mm -hmm. happening. Like, I'm like, cause they were they were like done for. They were oh, like for sure. fucking for sure. done for, dude. It was like, yo, that would be a bad, a terrible thing. It must be done for, bro. I'm like confession. I don't care what you say. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure not everybody knows this. So my man's just. Spoiler alert, my man was flying right, he ran out of gas. I thought he was like, meow. But he just coasted through the sky. And I didn't know you could do that. 
He just kept kept it like you know kept kept the momentum going, and he just oh, was like, the yeah. And I thought you were coasting a car on the ground. I know you can coast through air. I don't know. I don't. I know you can coast in the air, but I don't know how. I don't know how. I couldn't just you say. You know how to do it? No, not anymore. Sure. Not anymore. I. I can show you. How I do stopped it. doing it. A while it's, a, it's easy. I gotta get my Nike Airs to coast through the air. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, bro. <laughs> But uh, nah, you gotta get my jump bands on. No, but <laughs> that's why you look down here at Jordan's on. That's why he was coasting. He's like, how mad I would be is not, is not. There's no words for it. You look, you look in the the plane had some ones on him. I'm like, oh shit. It, never mind, I got it. You got it. I, actually, it's not a joke. It's actually a fact. But what, 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 what? One of Jordan's shoes is designed after uh, fire pilots. I can't remember which. Both wings on him on the side of him. No, nah, not that one. It's right. like a because uh, you know it's made by uh, Tinker. Tinker Hatfield. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna say yeah. He's a shoe designer. Oh, I don't know. That but when, when I'm a sneakerhead, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> one of Jordan's shoes is designed either the colorway or the shoe itself is designed after a uh, car, uh, the airplanes, mm. fire jet. I can't remember which one, but yeah. Okay, okay, that's that's actually news. I never knew that. I'm glad you know. And they go pew pew pew. And I don't even know that. <laughs> it, Christopher Mel knowing them is bro. Yeah, this movie was good. This movie's got rewatchable uh, re points in it because some things, some parts are like, well, who was that? Uh, it was good. The cast was pretty good. Your man's in there, huh? Harry, you you, you wouldn't call him out, Harry Styles. That's what my man's. I just I just recognized that face. That that's, that looks like Harry Styles. I thought it was Harry Fraud, but you know, you know who Harry Fraud is. <laughs> My music called the Harry Frog, you know, you know what it is? Go over there? <laughs> There's nothing over there. You don't have to be on the podcast on <laughs> I, I got it from Hair Tile Fam. <laughs> I got it from Hair Tile Damn. Aim is not You can do that one man band, one man band man with a podcast. For a little bit. But hey, it'd be a special No, you you called it out though. I thought it was pretty dope. Harry Styles was in it. Yeah, I think it's Harry Styles. And I was like, hey, he looks so familiar. I was like, hey, Harry Styles. Cause his hair I never seen his hair was first of all his hair was black. Then it was like shortened. It's like something I was like, never seen him like that. I, I don't follow him enough to know, but I know him. I've seen him before. You like, you're a face person? Yeah, like I was like, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of funny. I ain't mean like that. But yeah, like, not so like, I play Harry Styles. And I was like, oh shit. And he did a good job. Like, he wasn't terrible. And he was actually, he actually. That's true. That's true. And he had some roles. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know if he always was an actor or if I don't he just so. started. I mean, he did. The movie to me was good. They, they yeah. did well. Like, I feel like even if you were bad after the movie itself was just good. The movie just carried itself. Yeah, like it just like, yeah, it just went like because because Hardy doesn't really interact with anybody except for like his other pilot. Yeah, and then right, and then like, he's through the whole time he's in a fucking plane. <laughs> yeah, he's in a plane. And he's trying to shoot down other planes, and that's and that to me is the scary part. Like you just see a plane, like oh, I'm about to shoot Buddy Boy down, and you just like you see him, I'm gonna come back around, and swing around, and get him, and like kill this one, and it's like all right, bet I'm gonna meet you over there, like and you just. That's not that's not exactly how it went, but. If you want to sum it up simplistically, yeah, he yeah. mentioned like, yo, I'm gonna go get some, you get this one, you're like, bat. Yo, bang left, I'm hit this nigga. He bang left. That was dope. I feel sorry that the commander had went down, because they knew that, like, yeah, he's down, we just gotta check, though. You know, the commander to do that led the, uh, the three man squad on the planes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, he's like, I know I know where you was at, because I was saving your ass. Yeah. And I called old boy. Commander, so he was saving old boy, and then once he had saved him, they were like flying and he saw a plane go above his head. That was an Emmy's plane. Yeah. And he was like, let's check to see where the commander is. You want to circle back? Like, let's circle back. And he was like, yeah, I think that, I think that was our captain. And he's like, yeah, I think yeah. it is. Yeah, so they looked at him and was like, I am the captain now. No, I'm playing, no. But then, uh, <laughs> <That's what> he, <laughs> did, <though. laughs> he did, he did, he took charge. He had to. Yeah. But something else that was kind of, that was very interesting in the movie was the time. Yes, that actually fucks me up. How they? Cause at one point you're like, what? Like it? It the yeah? How they? How they do that? I thought was pretty cool. How they? Mm -hmm. How they play with the time a little bit? Cause you're following the story at first, and you're like, wait, I'm fucking lost. Yeah. And you, you get to kind of think it through a little bit. Like, oh, okay, I see what's yep. happening. I see what's happening. And it starts to piece together. You're like, oh shit. So I thought that was really cool. I was like, oh, look at you, tenant. I see you. That was, that's baby tenant. I'm not gonna lie, that's baby tenant. Yeah, he did some baby tenant shit kind of. But oh, the you old jewel shit. I feel like Chris Manola makes movies. Believing that the consumer or the viewer is smart enough to understand things that don't explain to you, I think that's why I like that because the, he definitely makes it with with some with with the intelligence, like you were saying, yeah, with some form of with, with an intelligence that definitely creates a reason for you that gives you a reason. It gives you reason and a want to think to mm -hmm. think a little bit through, like okay, why is it like that? Oh, oh, oh can I put this together? Oh, oh I got it! Yay! Yep. And you keep going through the movie or whatever. Whereas in the next movie, it coming to America. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they did that. 
I don't think I don't think they they wanted you to really think think like that through this movie. You want to get straight to it? Let's get straight to it, bro. Because I don't think they wanted you to think like that through that. Yeah. You said segue. You said segue. Oh, that's actually that's beautiful. That's actually beautiful. I posted. I posted. I had no gas. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. I didn't have no gas in the tank, but I posted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hmm. Hey, I, and I'm going to respect your applause for me, man. World class. P.O.P. Prisoner Podcast. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what it is, yo. Uh, you want me, want me to do the, the reading or you got it? I can do it if you want me to. Can't it's, read. It's like, <laughs> okay, I guess I got it. Then. I just told him I couldn't read. This whole time. I'd be kind of weird. I'm like, you had no room to talk shit about me then. How? If, if I couldn't read but I knew words you didn't, I'd be saying something about you. Yeah, exactly. So how <laughs> the fuck do you not know how to like, read? If I couldn't read but I could tell you, like, I, I can't read enough, but I know that's wrong. You'd be like, oh, shit. I'd be kind of upset. I'd be upset for you. Yeah, I'd be... I'd be like, I can't read, stupid. <laughs> That's what he tell you? Coming to America. Two being in the number two. <laughs> so, uh, we got this... Uh, <laughs> we got this uh, synopsis from IMDb. So, Coming to America is about a prince who was a victim of rape on his visit to America. He discovers that he has an Ill- illegitimate son because of the raping. That is uh, <laughs> the heir to the throne. Because of a woman, because the women of the moon do not have rights. Okay, so honestly, y'all, if you, <laughs> if you watch the movie, this is this is how it played out for you. All right. So you see the first one, blah, 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 they go on these dates, whatever, whatever, trying to find find a girl for a boy. Mm-hmm. In that process, I guess something that happened where they end up linking with somebody, mm-hmm. and the prince ended up having sex with this woman, not even knowing, not even aware that he had sex with her. It's like the second one, right? Yeah, the second oh, one. Yeah. He ended up not even knowing that he had sex with her. Right. And I'm like, bro, if we had made that, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's blatant rape, bro. Like, he didn't, mm. he knew nothing about it. He knew nothing about it. And out of all, they had a child. They ended up having a child. Oh, he was off the juice. No, she, yeah, oh yeah, cause she, because she blew the juice in his face. She was high and she got him high. Yeah, because she like, he said, what's this? And she like took him, blew it in his face, and it fucked him up so bad, he had no idea what was going on. She smashed him. Cause he, he she literally, smashed him. She, no, she smashed him. Because in that situation, he literally thought he was fighting a boar. Remember, he thought I was fighting a boar, and he kept trying to ram me and ram me, and, ram, and then he comes to us, and he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, wow. So he realized what happened. I was like, nah, nigga. So that's what we're going to do. Then there was, it was a lot of different things they touched on. Like, women didn't have rights in Zamunda. Yeah. Like, they couldn't like run the country despite being being the firstborn or whatever, or whatever it may have been. Well, she wasn't the firstborn. Well, but even like, if she was, she still would have been running. No, 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 you're right. She you're still right. would have been running. Like the idea was like, like she couldn't, she was not allowed to run the country, and that was a big thing. So I, I trained on my life. What's the point if I'm training on my life to do all the stuff and that? And then I just be. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, nigga. Damn. <laughs> to my face. <laughs> This nigga fucked up his mic. <laughs> Keep talking, nigga. I'm burping and shit. Hold on, sorry. Oh man. And he ends up being like, oh shit. Um, like yeah. So she and ends up being like, oh shit. Like I can't, I can't do anything. She can't, she can't do anything other than just grow up to be a wife, to be a wife to make somebody else royal and happy. Yeah. Be 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 a trophy essentially. That's it. Yep. Like she trains to fight. She trains all of the stuff. And it's like for what? Cause I can't use any of it. I can't. Yeah. I can't be an army. I can't fight people. I can't. She put, she basically prepared herself to like carry on her father's legacy and like Zamunda's Zamunda. Yeah, I don't say Wakanda for some reason to carry on uh, Zamunda's uh, country. And she's like basically like from my childhood until like that point, she was like focused on that. And then like you hit eighteen or like or even hit eighteen, you like sixteen, and they're like, yeah, so we're gonna go with this guy over here that I just found out about. And you're like, wait, what? Like. I've been preparing this my whole life, and you gonna tell me now? She told me this when I was like eight. Yep. First off, and second off, like yo, he not even like I hear a royal blood, but he's not like certified. Like, like yeah, the person was of uh, he was he was qualified to lead because he was born to the print, the king. That was it. Mm-hmm. He wasn't trained in it. He was nothing. So I kind of did Bobby a little. I was like, this is. What the fuck? But I was like, all right, well, they'll, they'll figure it out. They're going to figure it out. Oh, yeah. They're going to figure it out. They're going to figure it out. And then the other part, to me, the one part that I kind of didn't like was, like, all the extra shit. Like, there was a lot of... <laughs> I mean, it, 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 I feel like they were trying to, like, have the same humor as they did back then, but more in, like, this time period. And I feel like they, they, were. Didn't, they didn't know how to do that. You were, they were trying to capture the ignorance of back then and, and display it now, yeah. as you're saying. And, it, and like you said, it didn't... It, to me, was just like, the fuck? 
Like yeah. no. Like like who like no. Like this is this, <laughs> like they was like boy banding and shit. The niggas was dancing. It was a lot of singing. I was, I was like, like, what the fuck is going on? You niggas is dancing. They had Wesley Snipes dance. I'm like, I thought they took a bunch of like, hey, y'all not doing nothing, right? Come over here. We gonna do something. I feel like he wanted to dance though. I'm just, maybe I don't know. To me, it, it was the movie. I thought I needed it and started watching it quickly, realized I did not. Like, it was like. Yeah, I, 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 I sadly could have done without this and I was like, in any disrespectful way. Yeah, no, nah, I mean how I mean it. It just was like, look, it. it I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't. And you watch it because you it's like, like. You can't say that I mean it how I mean it. That sounds so totally disrespectful. Just say, I, I mean, no disrespect by it, but it's how I feel. If you take it as disrespectful, you take it as disrespectful. Oh, well, well, that's not my fault. If it hurt, it hurt. If it hurt, it hurt, bro. Like, what I'm going to tell you? They can't redo the movie when they get like. They could have not done the movie. No, you know, you know his ass until his ass. It's hey, well, I'm it's telling you, this one tells you his ass on some real shit. No, until I saw it was ass, and I was like, oh, I was like, nigga, nah. I was like, I will give you this stuff. It does make you want to watch the old movie because it, cause the first thing I asked you was like, was the old movie this stupid? And you were like, <laughs> no. Did I did I ask you that? You did ask me. I just was like, no, nah, I wasn't. I was like, what movie this? This movie was just dumb. Like, it was just like, and you know what I think it is too. In, in their defense. I can't be came off watching Dunkirk. Not right away, but the last movie I saw was Dunkirk. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So I'm thinking maybe it was some tel- that there was some intelligence that we had to use to do this, and with this movie we had to use nothing. <laughs> no. Cause I feel like you'd be like, well, maybe be the bad guy now, I don't give a fuck. Uh Come to America wasn't what we expected. Like we ain't like I didn't have like crazy expectations for it. Like when you had told me like, yo, I'm gonna watch Come to America, I was like debating if I was gonna watch it right then and there. But I was like, no one's coming to America. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good movie for the most part. Uh, we watched that. and just was like, all right, like why we, why, like, what's up with this? And I don't mean, I don't mean it in a like, terrible way, but it's just like what I'm watching ain't really like coming to America. Like, yeah, it definitely outside of the characters. Yeah, I was about to say that. Only thing you had, you had the characters in the setting to of coming to America, but beyond that, it didn't have the same feel. Yeah. Like I, I could, I you said before I could done without it. I really was like, I was like, man, like damn, like I, I feel like it would done better if you didn't name it coming to America. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, you, like you could, I get why you did that because you could recast a lot of people and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, I feel like it just was like there were parts that were like supposed to be funny, and they weren't. And then it was just like, and then on, and on top of that, there was a lot of uh. What's the word of cameos that were like if you didn't see the first one didn't make no fucking sense to you so what the fuck is this? They did a good job explaining those cameos though. So you all, they like, they did like okay because they showed them earlier on yeah. so like, you got to see that and and for me it was just one of those things like overall the movie to me just like so there's this whole thing that happened in the first one we knew nothing about mm-hmm. and they just want to try to build the whole movie up for that and I was like I, I, that's fair I guess you right it's, so I guess that I, I was saying like if you don't do that you could come on you could did it a different way yeah like I liked what the movie was trying to do I was like their execution. If yeah, that and there was a lot of th- it was. I, I do think it had a lot of good moral lessons in there, like about like about being yourself and being true to who you are, things of that nature. I think there was there was some things about like um, mm-hmm. about equality. Like there were some things in there they touched on that equality. Like, well, like why can't she leave this part? And the duh, like I'm trained for it. I'm like you literally trained up to do this. Only to something I cannot do it. Yeah, if you want to keep it the butt, situations like that in real life will that's war. Like if there was a situation of like I have a son I just found out was here, but also I have a daughter. There have been some type of like, yeah, those who had to fight to the death or something. And she would she would have been like, No, I'm I'm challenging this. And he would be like, oh, what's up with it? Yeah. And they would have fought to the death. So I'm glad we didn't have that. But Yeah, either either would have fought to the death or he would just got denied. Like, no. He would he wouldn't have claimed him. He wouldn't yeah. have claimed the son. He would have been like, he's not my son. They never they never tested him. I kinda that kinda got me. I was like, so you just gonna take her word and go with this. Yeah, I love the same thing, but I didn't want to be one to say that. I was like, so. you're not gonna get to that. First thing I was like, I'm a prince. I'm a, I'm a king now. Mm-hmm. I can't just have any old anybody be claiming they my son. Well, that's the thing, though. Know, he, he, he wanted an heir to fill the throne. So he kind of, he kind of, it didn't matter. That's why he, he needed to him. Right. And I was like, yeah, I would have, I would have yeah, changed. I feel like this should have been some type of like. I would have changed a lot of that shit. I'm like, I'm gonna take this no name, no training ass nigga. Like, in your, in your eyes, this, this peasant. For because you were king, this person would have been a peasant to you. Yeah. Like you'd have been like, this, this person's just a peasant. Like he's no, nothing to me. I don't know anything about this person. I'm gonna take him by you the king now. Like my only thing about it, only about Doctor Umar too. Only thing about it I had an issue with was you want us to accept him as like a prince, but he had not, like, no, he had any royalty to him even when he carried himself, which is fine. But you kind of make it where he had to lower his standards. Like no, like he should be, he should be able to. He should have worked to rise to those standards instead of him trying to modify the shit. Nigga fight it in a sense. 
Right, and so I was like, like, yeah, like... I know, I you should, like, they say, uh, boy, uh, big shoes. And it's like, no, you could have fit those shoes. You could have aspired to be a king. But uh, because of you not having real standards for yourself or expectations for yourself and trying to modify shit, you decided to lower yourself and become someone else. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I do. I'm saying, like, yo, you want to... I think it's great to be yourself. I do believe that 100%. Right. But if someone told me, like, yeah, you have, like, you come from real blood, you have a kingdom, of course, I'm going to feel I'm not prepared, but, like, right. you'll learn it. You still, you, 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 you can, there's a way for you to be yourself and still rise to an occasion. Yeah. And I think that is, that's the important thing. You can rise to an occasion. Yeah, there's certain things you might do the way you see fit, but you should still have the standards down pat. You mm-hmm. still have the basics down pat before you go and niggify some shit. Or like you just say, they, they can find Yeah, it. yeah, like, that's something they do. You could you could continue to be. Why not? Why not want learn to walk like royalty as your fathers and your forefathers before you did? Yeah. Like why not learn to do those things? Why not? Why why come in here and then, as you said, nigify it and on some whole other shit and then be like, well, I'm gonna make it this way and only to, only to turn and do all that just to be like, why well, might even want to do it? I'm that old girl do it. You get enough from the jump. You know, I really don't want to do this. How about I just. I, I pass I, off. I, I thought that was wet. I thought that was I wet. I was like, just pass it off. If you just gonna pass off, go pass it off. I was like, you you not you don't want to be this anyway. You like I fucking mm-hmm. thrown into this. You already found the girl. You want to marry. Blah blah blah. Okay, then just have him pass off to her. You want to be an ambassador? Sure, whatever. Do that. Say that. But like, I don't want to do ambassador. He don't be over there just chilling. Like that's what he ended up doing, being an ambassador. Like yeah, he's yeah. over chilling. Like yeah, like you said. I was, I, I just thought it was like dumb and shit. I was like nah, nigga. Like I don't know. Man. I, I, there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying you can't you can't be hood at certain times, but there's a perfect mm-hmm. time and place for everything. And I was like, you on this king shit, just step up to it. Like you don't just because you lived your life, a lot of your life in a certain in a certain area doesn't mean you have to remain that your mentality has to remain there. Exactly. Your mentality does not have to remain there. You can exactly. you can learn to better yourself. I'm not saying that you're better because you walk different, but I bet you would have felt better about yourself if yeah. you carried your way yourself a certain way. Oh well, I already watched that scene. I don't watch that movie just for that scene. I was like, that shit was crazy. I was like, man, like, like, like come on. So that that they kind of bob because I do hate when you take something like that and they just make a not a mocker. I don't want to... Because I think a lot of movies make mockeries and things and stuff like that. Okay, but it's like, okay, yeah, they take some Black King shit. And it's like, oh, some Black King shit. And then taking... I mean, obviously, it was, it's supposed to be a, a comedy. So, yeah, you make it funny. But you took it just world star that shit. And then it was like... Huh. True. Like, that's essentially what it felt like. Like, you took... You took something that could have been super dope, world started, and it was like, here y'all go, niggas. Like, it was like, damn, like... Yeah, that shit felt like, good. This movie for the niggas. This movie for the niggas, though. That's how I felt. Yeah, like, so, you got your boss in it, like... Do you kind of compare, like, the first one to the second one? The first one, I don't think was that funny, but it was a good movie. Yeah, I think to me, because to me, they're, they're, a lot of their, a lot of their, a lot of the comedy in the first one was based upon the ignorance that they didn't know how Americans operated, mm-hmm. and so it was off of that. Like it was just them trying to discover things, them doing things different that you're used to. Oh, that's kind of funny, whatever, whatever. Right. But it, to me, it never felt goofy, niggerish. Like it never felt that way. I'm, I, I don't know how that's explaining. Yeah, I remember too. In Coming to America, the first one, we come from a, and the movie starts off with like. I'm we from Zamunda. I'm royalty. We, we black royalty. Like we have a whole like history and culture we have here. We went to America just to, like kind of like do our thing, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he never loses that sense about himself. Right. Versus in the second one, we're like we're basically going reverse. So we're gonna take this kid yeah. and press take 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 taking the royalty, but he's rejecting the royalty and the mindset and everything behind it. Yep. And no one's like. John, no, no, he's not accepting of it. No one's really trying to teach him, and this is supposed to be done overnight, so it's kind right. of crazy. Right? Because people were people were trying to teach him, but he just wasn't getting it. And it was yeah. like, okay, cool. Like, I, and sometimes it was just so over the top with the things he was trying to do. It was just like, like, damn. But yeah, <laughs> mind you, if they if he never went out to like get his son, we wouldn't have a movie. So, right. I mean, I, I don't think you can. You can just go. I think mean, yeah, you can go out. And make, you can still have had the movie and have that. So, okay, you know, what? I did finally learn how to walk. Uh, father, I think I got the walk down pat. Look, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I, but I do feel more comfortable walking like this. And he just, just yeah, I mean, just probably so, like I mean. I hate walking like a pimp. Yeah, like I mean, it was, it was so extra. That's yeah, what I mean. it was just yeah. so extra. It was like this is extra. Exactly. Like it's one. That's what, that's what I mean. Like, I'm not saying oh because he walked like this and had a little hip hip in his step. I'm not saying you can't have that, but it was just extra. Like it was yeah. extra on there. Like it was like God damn, like those men have pimp came that. At one point he did have a cane. He did. And I was like nigga, like come on, like. God damn! My man's Herm Lewis said this in that Larry June song. Uh, he said, uh, I, f- "I feel like you're trying to intimidate me or manipulate me." The gangster ghetto attitude in me rises to the top immediately. All that flexibility in me. 
how you tell them about how like you go back on 14 like you be royal you know so it's time for like you be together and shit yeah like i'm sure if you ask jay i'm sure this time when he's like oh I'm, I'm i'm doing business whatever i walk into the room i still got that demeanor about me da, da, da. i have some of my demeanor to me so like you know i'm jay-z when i walk in the room and stuff like that but i'm sure he ain't walking like yo what up b got the do-rag on his head like yeah you know i mean he ain't doing this extra shit neither like numbers hey there's an interview he did with uh i think the commissioner of uh nfl Roger Goodell. Uh, this is when like uh, uh, Rock Nation had collabed with the NFL and they did like a press meeting or whatever. And Roger Goodell was getting like, he was like too like touchy with Jay-Z. And he was like, in the middle of the press conference, he kind of like, just like, let me go type shit. But he ain't like making like a big scene about it. He just was like, get off me. But you kind of tell if like, he was like, comfortable, I don't want you to touch on me and shit. Like, yeah. I, I'm not your boy. Yeah, but I'm, not your I'm, I'm not your boy, I'm a man. And I want to be addressing and like, yeah, uh, trying to sign you. That's 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 what that's what they do a lot. They do that a lot. They try to sign you. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I know. Some do that a lot. They try to. It, it, it depends on how. Because if it, usually if they're older, I find find something like that. Mm -hmm. Like when they have grandkids, they'll do that to you. Like oh, you like a grandson to me type shit. But if I, like, it's, but it's true, different than that. Yeah, they're yeah. trying to sign you. Like, you don't know me enough to be feeling me like exactly, that. Exactly. I was like, saying that. Like, my grandson. So I'm like, yeah, hold on. If I don't know you, don't touch me, bro. Like, like if I know you for a week, it's a business. Yeah. This is a business, bro. We not friends. We, this is business. Let's just talk about. Fuck it. is you talking about? It's a business. And I was like, yeah, like, and you gotta keep and you gotta keep that about you. Like you, you still, you can still, you can still be. You have your inner hood or whatever, and have have your inner beings and, and be who you want to be. Who mm -hmm. you want to be but i also think there's a there has to be a there also has to be a men's mindset not necessarily fitting in but adjusting does that make sense I guess, I guess you gotta blend you gotta blend in a little bit I, I think that's a compromise you gotta blend in a little bit but you can still be you can still blend in and and be yourself i had a conversation with uh a lover how like how this person is like they're themselves like 24 7 right mm -hmm. and i don't know if it's like it's it's, it's a black survival to a certain degree and as being multifaceted, when you're in certain rooms, you kind of have to adjust to the room so you can survive and like flourish in that room. Right. And like, she was understanding that. And it's like, I can be in the room with white people and I don't act the same. Not because like, I'm trying to be different. Because like, my brain realized that, like, oh, like, I'm in a certain room. I have to navigate differently. Right. Oh, just be like. I don't, I don't be like, ha oh, oh, ha, look at Sunny Jim over there. It's like, no, like, hey, how you doing? Da da da. I. Present myself well. I, you said it like carry so different. Like I fun with my homies and shit. Something different there too. Like yeah, like I I think you I think you turn it on like like you know that's what the whole thing of cold switching is like you mm -hmm. you might still feel the same way about how you how you relate things stuff like that is different when you speak to people and stuff. Because I mean if you're trying to especially if you're in your if you're in the world of worrying about your career and stuff like that, you definitely mm -hmm. learn to. Doesn't mean you're not yourself. It just means you are like in the movie that we talked about last time. You're a different versions of yourself with different people. Yes. You're still yourself. This is a different version. Like, there's a different version that they know, and there's a mm -hmm. version of you outside of that. Like, I'm usually myself. Like, as far as like who I am as a person, like I'm goofy. Da, 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 like I'm goofy at work. I'm goofy outside of work. I'm yeah. funny and stuff like that. But I like like when I'm at work, I'm not cursing and doing all the extra stuff right. or whatever it is. But my, my friends, I might cuss a little more. I might get a little a little wild or whatever. I say little, say little slicker things, whatever. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't say do that at work. Right. Doesn't mean I'm still not friend. Doesn't mean you still can't get that heat under two minutes because you because you said something crazy to him. Don't but mean that. The heat, the heat is delivered differently though. Right, the heat's gonna be delivered differently unless you was just like unless unless you came at me with the outside heat. You know what I'm saying? Like you came at me with outside heat. I'm like whoa, okay then. Like we outside with it. Like that's different. That's why I love emails where like uh, you know what they're trying to say, but they have they like kind of keep it fresh because of paper trail. Yeah. Prior to my last email, you understand that the shipment was already taken care of. So go ahead and please like file it correctly. Mm -hmm. And send send something back. You like, how do I want to cuss this person out without using any type of cuss word? Especially when they say they haven't seen the email. Like, oh, in case you haven't seen it, here I forwarded it again. Yep. And, and it really was saying, look, dumb bitch. Here it is. You're like, damn. <laughs> like, please check the date of the same third since I feel that you may have missed the email. AKA, you trying to say I'm a liar. Yep. Oh no, you know I'm sorry. You must. I'm sorry. I must have forgot to copy you on this email that I sent to you last week. And you think I said that one time I got in trouble for. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You must have eat something. You must have missed the email that I copied you on last week. Is it true though? And I was like, damn. Like, oh, like, oh, oh, shit. Like, cause like, for me, it's like, you know what? I did miss that shit. That's crazy. But I realized that, like, for me, I don't have a lot of malice in my system. So, like, excuse me. I just be saying shit like, yo, like, you must have missed it. It's like whatever. Yeah. But like you must like, oh, he Tommy Smart. No, bro, you really missed yeah. it. Like, and if that's how, you, and if that's what you, it's one of those things. It's like it's like sub this and almost like if that's what you take. That's what you take from it. That's my favorite thing to do in the world. Like yo, like like some sub, sub this and shit like that. Like oh, boom, 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 and then copied it. Boom, boom, sent it to him. Highlight the jump. 
And like, oh, so let them be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, Screenshot, dates. Yeah, like, oh, no. Because I, I've had that happen to me before, and it was a big deal, too. Talk like, about it. Let's go. It was a big deal. Fuck them. Sister, sister <laughs> was pretty big. It was bad. It was, um. Big deal, big thing. Because it was, like, my sister was like, man, like, if I knew this was the case, I wouldn't have bought these. Why would, they, why would I even gotten these if I knew that wasn't the case? Because you're stupid. And I, <laughs> and I was like, but I but I, I told, I, I said to you, hey, this is the thing. In fact, it wasn't even me who bought it up to you, yet I still told you. We both told you. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I know I told you because I followed up that, comp that verbal conversation with an email, and you replied back. Wow. And I was like, yeah, and I sent it, and I sent it again. I was like, yeah, but I didn't know that wasn't the case. And I like, I sent the email again, like, I'm sorry, like, I... And that's right. why I got the whole thing. Like, yeah, I must, you must, I must, must, must have forgot. I think I said I must have forgot to copy you. My words were I must have forgot to copy you on the email I sent to you last week. That was my wording. I must, that's what it was. I must that ain't it again? That is pretty. That is pretty spicy. That's spicy. That's just ain't that shit. I mean, I must have forgot to copy you on the email that I sent to you last week. Meaning, I sent this to you last week. Whatever. Yeah. I sent it to him. Boom, boom. And then read it, and it was like, and it was I was got in trouble for like, why would you say that? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like. You, what and it was like, it was like, why is he like trying to say I didn't tell him some shit and trying basically, basically get my ass chewed the fuck out yeah. on some whole other shit because you, because you don't know how to listen to somebody because you let your pride get in your way. No, it's like us since over here, we make sure we cross our and down our eyes, nigga. Because people here, they saving money on some shit, they like, let's go with it. It's like, but it's, sometimes penny wise pounds foolish. I heard somebody said a lot more. Why are well, you just spit? Let me hear it. <laughs> <laughs> penny, you ever heard somebody penny wise pounds foolish? Penny's wise pounds foolish? Get out of my face, okay? This you talking about pounds, like, currency pounds? Like, like, like enlighten me, my nigga. No, I'm not even playing. Put me on game. I'm playing a little bit. But no. <laughs> I'm like, no, Thomas. No, we can't. Uh, we can't. Uh, uh, I didn't hear it again. For real, say it slow. I didn't hear this. Pennies wise. Pennies wise. Thomas foolish. I'm being dead <laughs> fuck serious. I got that from you. I'm being dead serious, and I'm penny wise. Pennies wise, pounds foolish? Yeah, let me look at it for you. Let me look at it. So, wise a clown? Yep, exactly. Go ahead and let me start. Yeah. You don't want to teach me shit. It's all good. You already know. I don't know what they're saying. You know, I love sayings, my nigga. Do you know what I'm saying, though? I don't. So I'm trying to tell you. Say it again. <laughs> a penny wise, a pound foolish. So, what does that mean? Like, for real, for real. Like, I to my headphones on like we in recording. Stuff. Like, sometimes, you, like, like. When you're saving money, it's, okay. you, want to, you want to save to a certain extent. Like, like. If saving if saving the money means it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna cost me more work, it's gonna not you know what I'm saying it's gonna cost me much more work and shit like that, like mm -hmm. maybe it's not worth the savings. Like if it's going like, oh we can do it this way, it's gonna save me, but I gotta spend all this extra shit to do all this other shit to like, get the work right, then it's not worth it. Let's just go pick the more expensive one. Let's just go with the one that's gonna work for us completely. And so that's what happens a lot of times. These schools trying to save money, they'll they'll do that. Like they'll like, all right, well we heard what about this option? Yeah, and you and you talk them through it, but sometimes that shit happens where like they just heard this one was so much less than that way, like to make this one happen. And you're like, hey, this is what's going to happen if you do this. There's <laughs> things you cannot do. Well, they don't really do that anyway. Okay. And then we get it. And they start doing that something they say they don't do. And then they're pissed off. Why don't you let me get these? Because I tried to warn you. Like, I, 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 literally, I literally told you I advised against it. I, I said here in the email that I forgot the <laughs> I forgot to copy you on the email that I sent to you last week. That <laughs> I, I always said the same thing. I don't hold you. And at that point, you go, oh, shit, you're right. Cause I, I, I'm a big advocate to like I'll put you to the side and be like, hey, this is the deal. Like I can't, I can't say in an email because everybody sees it, because everybody sees it on me. But I'll just be like, put you to the side and be like, hey, this is what we doing right now. Now if you get out of pocket, I'll put you in in pocket. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I was about to say something. I was gonna kick what you said. I was thinking stupid. <laughs> I won't give you an example. Okay, here, here's an example. I think it's a much better explanation of, than what I gave. Talk about it. An example of someone being penny wise and pound foolish is a person who travels to many grocery stores to buy items on sale at each one, but ends up spending more in gas money, uh, gas money, driving between the stores than he saves in buying the, sale, the grocery items on sale. That's why I don't have a car. What hand goes up? Episode one forty nine for business. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if this is your first time. Welcome. If this is your umph team time. Welcome back. Um, and thank you for listening to our uh, to us. I really appreciate it. That yeah, thank you for listening to us. Uh, Today's my sister's birthday. So happy birthday, Ariella. Happy birthday, Ariella. Happy birthday. She's not saying anything bad, bro. <laughs> no, but I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, you can find me. <laughs> Then do it, and then do it, no good, no do At Instagram and Twitter, um, at Mr. Fantastic. You can find this guy at... Uh, T.S. You know, Junior. 
on at, Twitter and Instagram. At T Usry No Junior on Twitter and Instagram. Find the podcast at Cleaning Dishes at Instagram. Uh, hit the website, cleaningdishespodcast.com. This boy over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, again, as my man said, thank you for tuning in with us. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to episode 150. Uh, follow the, follow the Instagram to get updates of what we are doing, how we live in, you know what I'm saying, what's coming up for the next episode. Uh, so, with that note, I want you guys to do me a favor. Clean your hands. Clean your faces. Get some hand sanitizer and all that stuff. You know, COVID is still out here. If you plan on getting vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you don't plan on getting vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. Do what you got to do, though. Um, and most importantly, clean your plate. Peace. I realize that. Uh, no, because you do this every fucking time. No, what? Just, just cut, close it out. Close no, what? No, because you're not gonna say some dumb shit like my nipples are sweating. No, 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 no,